Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I'm going to talk about this particular question 701102 because I have got a lot of requests, especially for this question. There were many other questions which I have got request of. I have tried to solve them in my previous videos. I hope you have already watched it. In case if you have not watched it, I will pin them in the i button. So the question is from quantum mechanics and it says that a linear variation is performed using two orthogonal basis functions phi1 and phi2 to generate two optimized energies epsilon1 and epsilon2 where epsilon1 is smaller than epsilon2. Now if the exact ground and the first excited state energies are even and e2 respectively the correct statement is. It says uh, that both epsilon1 and epsilon2 are lower than e1. Second says epsilon1 lies between e1 and e2. Third says epsilon1 is greater than epsilon2 and fourth says epsilon2 is less than uh, e2. Now the correct answer given in the in the answer key is option number 2. Let's talk about this question because see the thing is that the question is not clear or I can say that it's not explained clearly what exactly they want to uh, ask or what they are exactly asking. Okay, It says that a linear variation is performed using two orthogonal basis functions. We have phi1 and we have phi2. With that we have created two energy levels. Okay, let's say that phi1 and phi2 are there and with that we have created two energy levels. One is epsilon1 and one is epsilon2. Now epsilon1 is a smaller or equal to epsilon2. Let's consider that they are, this is a smaller than epsilon2. That's what we are considering. Now it says if exact ground and the first excited state energies are E1 and E2. Now you have a ground state energy E1 and you have a first excited state energy E2. So what they are asking is what is the relationship between these. Now the thing is that uh, the thing which we have to uh, presume if you are presuming that epsilon 1 is corresponding to the optimized energy near to the E1 and epsilon 2 is the energy near to E2 in that case the answer is justified and it is option number 2 that is correct. If you are presuming this thing, okay, if we are making this thing un like we are just understanding it from our own perspective, what we are considering, understand once again, what we are considering that this E1, sorry, this epsilon 1 is optimized energy, optimized or you can say variationally, uh, variational energy or you can say trial energy, that's a better term. So, this is a trial energy uh, uh, level uh, near to near to ground state and epsilon 2 is optimized optimized or you can say trial energy near to near to first excited state okay first excited state so if that is true in that case the energy level are going to be in this way you will be having e1 this is exact energy level and this is e2 this is exact energy level epsilon 1 will be always greater than because the variational theorem says that oh, the energy obtained from the optimized uh, wave functions or the trial wave function is always greater than or equal to the exact energy. So, here somewhere your epsilon 1 will lie and here somewhere epsilon 2 is going to lie. Okay, Here somewhere epsilon 2 is going to lie and in that case the answer is correct which says that see both epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 are lower than E1 that is not correct. Okay, Option 1 is incorrect. Option 2 where it says epsilon 1 lies between E1 and E2, that's correct, okay. And third says epsilon 1 is greater than E2, that's not correct. And fourth says E2 is a small, epsilon 2 is a smaller than E2, again that's not correct. So, this, this answer is coming when we are assuming this thing that epsilon 1 correspond to the optimized energy of the ground state and epsilon 2 is the optimized energy of the excited state, first excited state. But that is not clearly mentioned, okay, that is not clearly mentioned. Now, if the thing is, uh, if the question is not clear or if the, if the statement of the question is not clearly mentioned, you cannot have any reference also to explain that. But still this question can be challenged. If you are in, if you have attempted this question and want to challenge this question, the only thing which you have to say is that you have to write down, but first of all about it, that the question uh, contains insufficient data or it contains insufficient information regarding the energies of epsilon 1 epsilon 2 that uh, these are uh, optimized energies of whether ground state or excited state or whatever they have nowhere mentioned they have just said that 
it just generate two optimized energies epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 and epsilon 1 is smaller than epsilon 2 they have not said that whether this is for the ground state this is for the first excited state but later they have said that the exact ground and exact first excited state are mentioned are uh, represented by u and n2 now see what are the other possibilities what could happen that you got two optimized energy levels and both these optimized energy levels let's say you got these uh, epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 these are optimized energy levels and both of them are uh, optimized levels and it's not mentioned so you can consider that both of them are uh, energy levels corresponding like both of them are trial energies and trial energies are always greater than the exact energies so in that case e1 also becomes greater than e2 uh, which is option number three that also comes out to be correct so i think the answer could have been correct if they would have just added one line in the quotient that epsilon 1 correspond to the ground state or uh, epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 respectively or some word uh, which which is going to suggest that the reference which can give out regarding epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 um, it's a tough call uh, whether it can be challenged or not but i will suggest if you have attempted this question you can go for it and you can challenge this question hopefully they can be accepted okay because the question is incomplete i would say so this i would say is an incomplete question okay uh, that's what i believe if you have any other you know uh, idea or if you have any other uh, like uh, you like if you have any other opinion about it uh, you can do let like you can let me know in the comment section i will try to discuss with you over there itself but according to me that's what it should be uh, answer is answer could have been correct if they have just mentioned a single line in the question otherwise option three is also one of the choice which comes out over here okay so i think we have done and we have discussed enough questions it is not possible to discuss each and every question and uh, we will do that uh, but not uh, like we can't do that in such a short span of time so i believe you all have uh, checked your answer keys and you have uh, you know noted down how many marks you are getting i'll be making a video regarding the cutoff uh, the updated video regarding the cutoff soon so stay tuned for that and if you have not subscribed the channel please do consider subscribing it and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care